What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to do one of the most important things you can possibly do for your Wii, and that's backing up your NAN in case you brick it. So uh, let's just get right into it. Alright, so first things first, this tutorial is assuming that you already have the letter bomb hack or whatever means you have to get your homebrew channel on your Wii already installed and you also have preloader as well. So if you don't, I'm going to revert you back to a previous tutorial down in the descriptions and then come back to this once you have those done. So the first thing that we're going to do here is I did a fresh install of the letter bomb hack. So I'm just going to open that up and let it do its thing. Alright, so it looks like it's done loading here, so we're just going to hit 1 to continue. And I'm going to hit A, and I'm just going to install the homebrew channel real fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. And next we're going to go to boot me. Now, you have two options here. You can install it as iOS, or you can install it as boot 2. I usually just do both. However, whichever one you click on, you'll notice must be installed with an SD card. So I already have an SD card in, so I'm gonna hit yes to continue. Honestly, the SD card, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. But you also won't be able to do boot to if your Wii was made any time after 2008, I believe, don't quote me on that. But the older Wiis are able to use boot to. If you have an error using boot to, chances are your Wii was made after that time period. Okay, so that's done, I'm just gonna continue. And now I'm going to go to install boot me as iOS also requires an SD card. So we're just going to do yes, continue. Yes, continue. And we're just going to let that do its thing again. And boot me is as simple as that. So now we're just going to return to the main menu. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is open up the homebrew channel. And this is assuming you have preloader on here. This will just give you an extra layer of protection as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and install that real fast. So I'm just gonna open up preloader, hit load. This isn't necessarily a part of backing up your NAN. It's just something that I think you should do if you're going to do this. Hit start. And voila, it's done. So now, we're all set to go now we can actually back up our NAND so there's two ways you can do this once you have it installed as iOS you can select the home button and you can launch boot me from here or there's a second way which I'm gonna do you can turn off your Wii and when you turn it back on you're gonna hold the power button for a second and then you're gonna let go and you're gonna notice that this screen pops up here. So your Wii remote is not gonna work for this step. You're actually gonna to have to navigate through this using the buttons on the Wii itself. So the power button, for example, will allow you to make different selections, while the reset button will let you choose your selection. So I'm gonna go over to the gears here and hit the reset button. And you can see that there's a little transfer symbol over here with a green arrow. I'm going to hit the reset button on that. And this is going to start your NAND backup process. Now this is a lengthy thing. This will probably take upwards to 15 to 20 minutes. So you're going to let it sit here for a while. You are going to notice though while it's doing this, it's going to find some bad blocks. Uh, doesn't. It's not really on a need to know basis like what the bad blocks are, but just know it's a normal thing. A lot of people run into them and it's most likely gonna happen. I'm sure I'll bump into one here as well. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so just skimming through here for a second, you can see that I do have one bad block available currently. Um, It'll just say right there, factory bad block 964. So that's all right if you bump into stuff like this, but I'm gonna let this keep riding out and see what happens when we get back to it. All right, so you can see here that it's all green now and it actually just finished. Uh, what it does after it finishes and completes, it's gonna go over again and just verify everything's being backed up. It's gonna say uh, press start or eject to skip this part, but I usually just you know, play it safe and do it anyways. But you are gonna see here that I have four bad blocks. Again, like I was telling you, it happens. I'm gonna have it, you're gonna have it, so don't worry too much about it. 
So I'm gonna let this do its verifying thing now, which is gonna take a couple of minutes and I'll come back again. All right, so you can see that we're all green here. It just finished up and it says verify succeed, hit any button to exit. So now that we're all done, uh, the Wii remote still isn't going to work. So you're gonna wanna hit the power button, reset button, pretty much any button on the Wii itself. I'm just gonna hit the power button. And that will take you back to the boot me menus. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the power button. That way we can get to the back arrow here and we're gonna hit the reset button. And I'm gonna go to the homebrew channel because I'm gonna show you guys the secondary way we can get into this. So let's let the homebrew menu load up. And all you have to do is hit the home button and go to launch boot me. Now this will only appear if you install it as iOS. Now, uh, obviously, doing it in boot 2 is a lot better this actually you know lets you boot from startup which gives you better protection if your console ever gets bricked but uh, that that's basically it honestly guys it was a quick and easy tutorial uh, if you look at your SD card you'll notice that you do have the files on there I believe they might be in a dot bin format actually let's just go look at it all right, so we can see here that I have the uh, Wii SD card open, and you'll see we have NAND.bin and keys.bin. So that's what you're gonna see when it's all done. Now, back to what I was doing. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys wanna see me make more similar content, leave a comment down below. I have the Discord open, so feel free to join that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.